Hey guys, Inventor719 here, and in today's video, um, it's back to school time, so we're going to be making some more gadgets, because here I am in my new apartment, and this summer I made a lot of explosion and firecracker videos outside, um, and if you do like those videos, I will still be making some on weekends when I go home, um, to the backyard and stuff like that. But during school, um, if you've been subscribed for a while, you know that I like to make lots of gadgets because you can make them inside in the apartment. Um, really easy, um, do it DIY at home kind of inventions. So that's what you're going to be seeing a lot of and hopefully you guys like that. I know they get lots of views, so I'm feeling as though you guys do. But if you like the other types of videos, just stay tuned. On the weekends, I will still make those types of videos. So, without further ado, let me show you how to make this really simple and awesome air gun. Okay, so to build the air gun, first we'll quickly go over the supplies you'll need. Um, so we're going to need a bicycle pump. I have a nice small one here with a PSI readout. Very handy. Um, the big stand-up pumps will work as well. You're going to need a valve of some sort. And this depends on the tubing and barrel that you're using. But I have a 90 degree, just a little ball valve. Hardware store sells tons of those. Um, you're going to need some tape and zip ties along with a barrel. Um, I used a test tube with the end cut off. Um, again, like I said, it's nice if the barrel is close to the same size outer diameter as your valve and then for the air tubing I just use this rubber or plastic line from Canadian Tire this is a quarter inch inner diameter it was six dollars for that whole roll um, you're gonna need a exacto knife or scissors hot glue gun and ammo basically anything that seals tightly in the barrel such as a nerf bullet or some corks so the first step is to use your tubing to attach the pump to either side really of your ball valve and basically this tubing is actually going to be our air source like an air tank. Uh, basically it will just be used to hold the high pressure air and it will hold it until you open the valve which of course is when your projectile will be fired. Um, so basically, like I said, I'm using quarter inch inner diameter hose because that works well with most um, ball, little ball valve pumps for bikes and stuff because it fits nicely in there and it also fits on my quarter inch valve. So that works out really nicely. So basically just cut a length, this length is around a foot long and to attach it um, to the bike pump, I'll give you a quick trick, sorry if it's hard to see. But basically that's where you'll usually put that metal twisty cap that you'll recognize off of your bike tire. But what we're going to do today, um, the end of the tube, it helps if you cut a little slit with the X-Acto knife. And then basically you're going to try and push it through here and then push it into there and then screw it on. Okay, so I thought I'd show you on camera. So basically I took my X-Acto knife and cut a little slit right there in the pipe not very long just about a centimeter long and what that allows you to do is fold it over itself to make it quite a bit smaller and then take the end cap of your pump and just try and feed it through like this it's not easy but the harder it is the better to ensure a proper air seal so feed it through Okay, so there you have it. Uh, it's perfectly threaded through. As you can see, it's a very tight fit. And now, you don't want the cut still there. So make sure it's a good amount pulled through. It's really tough, like I said. But then, just take your X-Acto knife and cut the tip off of it. Alright, so now that you have the pipe pushed through the fitting, all you have to do now, it's another tight fit, so I'll do it off camera because it's a lot of finicking around. But basically just simply push your hose into the pump, uh, make sure it's a good seal, and then go ahead and thread on the cap. Now that the air hose is connected to your pump, 
you can give it a quick test just by pumping and making sure no air escapes out of the seal right there. Now you want to connect the other end to your ball valve and of course you're going to choose the size that is the closest fit and so mine was a little bit too small so all I did was grab some duct tape or electrical tape would be better if you have any. Mine always seems to disappear but basically oh and before threading it on sometimes they come with a little nut so put the nut on first as best you can so there put the nut on and go ahead and it helps if you twist it on the duct tape helps seal it and as you can see it's really tight to turn on I'm having quite a hard time here but the harder it is the better the seal and like I said if you want to use a glue gun put a little bit of glue in there um, to really seal it up but I'm going to try not to do that just so I can reuse lots of these parts and essentially once you tighten that down you have your pump air tank and valve assembly completed next you have to attach your barrel like I said I'm using a test tube and that goes on the other side of the ball valve so you're going to go ahead and unscrew the nut if it has one again. I got lucky and it turns out that a outer diameter of a test tube is whatever that is, probably 7 eighths or 3 quarter maybe. It literally fits perfectly, press fit in there and is 100% airtight. But if it wasn't, like I said, just use some tape, wrap it around there. But as a double security measure, I'm going to go ahead and put the nut back on because... It really helps secure it in there. As you can see, it really just presses it in place. There's the hard mechanics of the air gun done. Now you just have to set up your barrel on your pump. How you attach your valve barrel assembly to the pump is completely up to you, but I recommend using a combination of zip ties, tape, and a hot glue gun. And the configuration is also up to you. I kind of like the top mount method. So I'm going to try and mount my valve just like that. Then to fire, all you have to do is hold it with this hand and pop the valve up like this. But if you prefer the valve to be more like a trigger mechanism, you can always mount it a little bit sideways, um, which means you just have to push it over like this. You could mount it on the underside. Basically, uh, the, the options are endless and also up to you. If you extend the hose, you could always make a handle below it and maybe make it like a two-story thing or you could even mount it sideways and have it pumped like this and shoot it like this so anyway if you want to mount it like me I will show you how to do that so to start the mounting pro process we're going to use some hot glue um, I'm basically going to go ahead and put some hot glue on the bottom of the valve right in the middle there the hot glue is basically just going to be used to keep it in place until the tape and zip ties are ready to be used. So there, um, you're gonna wanna make sure the barrel is straight and nice and aligned with the pump and that there is a enough clearance to turn the ball valve. I didn't give very much clearance, but it still turns. I think it looks nice and neat that way. And then once it's kinda secured by itself, um, I'm gonna add some more stability by putting a bead of hot glue on both sides. There's the first side. And we're gonna put a hot glue bead over here as well. Next, take your zip ties. I have two really large black zip ties here. They don't have to be this big, but uh, they work. So I went ahead and just looped it around the valve and pump, and then go tighten them up. As some of you may know, I'm also a car enthusiast, which is why I have so many of these laying around. But you can pick them up from the dollar store. It's a lot cheaper than a hardware store. It's like a dollar fifty at the dollar store for 50 of them, so it's a really good price. So all I'm going to do is use those to help secure it down like this. Um, tighten them up as much as possible. Zip ties are super strong and then just use a knife and cut them here and here. So there you have it. This is basically the final product. There's my zip tie setup that you saw 
and the only problem I had is that this zip tie at the back here would slide back and forth and to fix that all I did is put a little bead of hot glue right there between the valve and the zip tie so that it doesn't slide off especially when you go and open the valve as you can see the valve has good clearance um, the zip tie at the front of course stays on because it's wedged between the nut and the body of the valve and lastly the good thing to note is that the nut does a good job of spacing the barrel above the pump so when you go and pump it all clears and then when you want to fire you can just check your PSI I just pumped it up there so we got to 45 PSI then when you open the valve as you can see it shoots some air so let's get to some target shooting okay so here goes the shooting test um, I've loaded up first with a nerf bullet which is a lot softer of a target the corks have a much better seal so they go quite a bit faster but anyway I'm gonna be shooting at all these targets over here um, they're not super far away but you'll get the idea I'm probably only a few meters and then I'll do a distance test after this so first I'm gonna go ahead and give you a close-up of the pumping action so here we go so one pump gets you right I'll show you on the gauge if you can see that it says 40 psi and I'm gonna go ahead and give another pump 70 psi so that's pretty good for the first test so let's go ahead and see what we can hit um, firing in three actually I'll aim for the green container up top top left firing in three two one all right so that was a bit low um, I'm gonna go ahead and use the corks for more power all right so time for the same thing I'm gonna pump it once maybe twice hopefully get around 50 psi there's 50 there's 60 psi with a cork is plenty um, so let's see what we can hit firing in three two one so as you can see, I got the tic tac container, and it goes pretty fast. And I have another cork with me right here. So let me go ahead and just try one pump, just to show you guys one pump. Oh, I pumped it with the valve open. Oops. Okay, so a good lesson is to make sure the valve is fully closed. What you just saw is what happens if it's just like that, a little bit open. So let's go ahead and close it all the way and try another cork shot and try and hit one of those bottles off the top or maybe one of those push pop containers. So one pump gets me right to 40 PSI. So I'm gonna do maybe another partial pump to get it up to 50 or 60. It can do 80 PSI, which I'll show you for the distance test, but that's a little nuts for this. So let's see if we can hit one of those push pop containers right over there. Nope, miss. Here's another shot from a different angle. Make sure to push the cork in all the way for a full seal. One, two. So here's 80 PSI. It does drop pretty fast at 80 PSI because of the small air leaks. So let's shoot it right away. Took out the blue push pop bottle like a breeze it was full by the way so here we go with the distance test we're going to be shooting at that little swanson turkey dinner box and it's around probably seven to ten meters away i can shoot much further than this but this is only how big my apartment is so i'm going to go ahead and crank it up to the maximum probably 80 psi and then shoot as fast as possible before any leaks out of here if you wanted to be able to hold for longer probably just use some glue or plumbers tape or something I didn't use any which is why a leak at 80 psi is understandable but let's go ahead and pump it up and see if I can hit it it'll make it for sure but if I hit it that would be a bonus here we go All right, so it went a little bit down. I'll try again, just for fun. Take two, here we go. All right, I hit the wood right beside it. So it's not the most accurate invention in the world. If you had a more weighted target, it would be a lot more accurate. But for what I was using it for, it worked out pretty well. 
Um, so yeah, hope you liked it. It's a really, really powerful, super easy to build. Um, you could probably, probably add a tank in between, but the tubing works perfectly fine and lets out a good amount of air as well. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, if you want to suggest any more inventions or maybe what you want to see shot out of this, I could try and shoot paintballs, maybe darts or something like that. Just let me know in the comments below. Um, I reply to almost all my comments. And as always, please like, comment, and subscribe. See you next time.